time to plant some cotton again. This time we're planting some phytogen. We got ourselves a 250 right here. Beautiful cotton seed. And first thing I want to show y'all is the difference between whenever you plant peanuts versus when you plant cotton. The cotton seed, we have this little bit right here and these two rows right here. So it's not a lot compared to peanuts, that's for sure. Well, just as I was filling a planter up with seed, uh, I got a call, so now I gotta quickly go stack a few bales. I wanna get those off the field. But just a little bit uh, about the seed. Uh, this 250 that we're using, this Phytogen 250, this one's going to be seed block. So it's gonna, they're gonna use that for seed later on. And then one planter is gonna have that 250 in there and the next planter will have this 350 in there so this is also seed block so one planter is going to be planting two different circles with this variety and my planter will be planting that variety over there so we got two different areas that we're going to plant hopefully we can get about 480 acres done uh, with cotton seed, you can plant quite a few more acres than you can with peanuts. You don't have to fill up as often. We do have the back boxes still full with hydrohume, but we don't have much left. We only have about five more bags sitting right there. Not six bags. We got about six bags left. So it's not going to be enough to cover all of our cotton acres, but we'll just, we'll do it as far as it reaches and then call it good af after we were empty. So, and we are also going to use fertilizer so we still got a lot to get ready which i forgot in the front there on the planter i don't know if you remember uh the other cotton planting video we switched the planter over we have to swap some hoses to where the fertilizer is not going in the furrow and it's just going on these back sprayers here it's a little bit windy but i'll show y'all we're wanting to put the fertilizer on these nozzles right here now we, they were going in the furrow it's very easy all we got to do is take this hose out and put this hose right here swap them and then there's a little orphid inside right here so we got to take that out as well and then we should be good i believe so i'm gonna go quickly stack some bales i'm just gonna grab the four-wheeler here drive over to the tractor and stack a few bales and then i'll get back here and finish setting up these planters We're loaded up on seed. Exactly. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, show, show us your skills. How fast can you put this telk on there? Oh, a little time you. But it can't be as heavy as Oh, yeah, you have to use the good spoon. That, that spoon sucks. Huh? You have to use this good spoon. That, that spoon is junk. I hate that one. That one's all, all terrible and flimsy and whatnot. That's very powdery. Well, I don't know why you. Yeah. Oh, you wanted a lighter bucket. Oh, you're cheating. Oh, that's what that is. You gotta have a full bucket. <laughs> Even with this wind. Let's go. But it's not gonna be very accurate that one. Well. <laughs> I don't think it's important how accurate. Darn, my battery died. So I guess we don't know how fast you could do it. But, but look at the mess you made. You couldn't have done a cleaner job than that. Yeah, that's powdery, that's very powdery and very, very slippery, very lubricant. And exciting stuff, we forgot. We have to put all these coulters, coulters back on there. These wavy discs in the front. Yeah, this could probably take a while before we start planting. All right, now, now for it being almost four o'clock, I think we finally got the planters ready and we can finally start planting, which now we gotta drive to the field first and that's like eight miles away. So it's in a minute, then we're gonna start planting. But we, we did a lot of things. We fixed a bunch of bearings and all of the trash cleaners. We put all those coulters on there, those wavy discs. Uh, 
We did all sorts of things. We swapped the uh, hoses to where now we're uh, broadcasting the fertilizer behind the seed bed instead of in the furrow. We did that. Uh, we did a couple of other things. Uh, the, the tips back there that's broadcast the fertilizer on top of the seed bed. Um, basically every single tip was closed. So we had to take off all those tips, uh, reopen everything. So I think we're finally good now. We're finally gonna start planting. All right, we're finally back to planting. Also, we have a tractor somewhere on the field that is closing the valley tracks, but meanwhile, I'm just gonna keep driving over these valley tracks until he gets to them. He'll just drive up to where we planned it, I guess, but the valley tracks are being cl uh, closed as we speak. We do, we made like tons of adjustments on the planter back there. Uh, we are now planting not near as deep as what we do with peanuts. With peanuts, we planted about I'd say about two inches deep. Now our goal is kind of anywhere between half an inch to an inch. Right now I'd say we're doing about three quarters of an inch deep. So when you look at the, the dots on the depth wheels, it's about two one from the top. So now I have a pivot in the way. Turn off my liquid. So, so far everything's been working good. No row units have clogged or anything like that. So that part is very very nice we did also change our trash cleaners and we changed the depth of those so we made lots of adjustments it's five o'clock right now so yeah we're planting and i tell you what after the tracks have been closed which that's what he's done right here already it's a whole lot smoother like you can just drive six miles an hour right over it yes we are going six miles an hour we went five miles an hour with peanuts. We're going six miles an hour, six miles an hour now with cotton. My rows are beeping at me again. One row decides to plant a whole lot more than the rest, but now we're good again. We're planting 52,000 seeds per acre. Uh, a while back, we were planting at our other farm where we were doing 77, 78,000 seeds per acre. But here we do not have as much water, so. 52,000 is good. Some other fields have even less water. There will, there will probably switch lower. I know there's a field or two that we have to only do 25,000 seeds per acre because there's just almost no water. But right now we're doing 52,000 seeds per acre. It's working pretty good so far. It's beeping at me a lot today. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Definitely have my airbag pressure at 165, well, I have it set to 165, but it's doing, doing somewhat close. Here shortly, we're gonna turn this pivot on, start watering the cotton. That's gonna have to be done sooner than, sooner than later. Turn off my liquid. Neighbors are actually watering their field right there. The other planters come in on that line right there on the GPS, so I gotta take the next line right over. Right before we started, we make sure we made sure that both planters were driving at the exact same spot. That way, even when we turn around, that way all the lines are still even. That's the goal. And this time, this time I did not forget. Here, I'll just speed up once I'm planting cotton here, then... This time I did not forget to change that and that to cotton. The last time I forgot to change it to peanuts and then it wasn't really planting the right amount of seeds per acre. But this time I did not forget and I made sure that that was doing right. And we're planting into some really beautiful no-till ground, I guess you could say. Uh, this. This is about normal what we do. We had hay right here, we swathed it, baled it. Now we're just planting cotton straight into it. Cotton does really good when it has a little bit of wheat stubble or something to cover it or to shield it. Because it does not like a lot of heat. It is not a very strong crop. It, 
Uh, you have to plant it very shallow. What if, if you do too deep, the cotton does not have enough strength to come up out of the ground. Corn, you could plant it almost however deep you wanted to, and that corn would just go straight up out of the ground. With cotton, if you want it at least under an inch, anything above an inch, the cotton does not have enough strength to come up out of the ground. So you need it to be nice and shallow. Uh, the ground also needs to be quite wet. Yeah, that's why we that's why we have to water it right away because if we wouldn't, it would have dry ground and the seed would just rot underneath the ground. So we have to turn the pivot on as soon as possible. So this this is some good no-till ground. I guess you could say no-till. Normally, we would just uh, if we would have stock uh, cotton stalks the year before, we would just run a stock cutter right where the cotton stalks were and then we'd plant right in between there. But this year we didn't have any cotton stalks here because we had peanuts on this half last year. So now we just had this wheat stubble. So we just we have we do have the trash cleaners a little bit lower. So that trash cleaners are helping a little bit to move some of that debris out of the way. But other than that, it's working really great. It's doing a really good job. I'm excited to have some really good looking cotton off of this field. Well, I'm hoping for some really good cotton past couple of years the cotton has not done really good on this field that's why we tried doing some peanuts again so I'm hoping that this year we'll have a really good cotton crop off of this field I'm really excited for it so we actually have a well right there that I just drove around and as you can see one of my units isn't planting and that is because I am leaving a row out where we have easy access to the well with peanuts, it's not a big deal, but with cotton, it kind of grows like, I don't know, three feet tall, give or take. And so I have a row that's not planting, row number 10, that one right there. And there's not going to be any cotton that has been planted along that row. So driving there with the four wheeler to check up on that well, that's going to be very easy. And it's going to be very handy to have that row not planted. Yeah, it's beeping at me. It's kind of annoying, but for that little, this little bit, it'll be fine. We don't want it to plan. So if you ever, if you ever do stuff something like that, let me know. I'm kind of curious. Who do y'all also just leave rows out to certain wells or to the pivots, or do y'all just plant everything? And then if you need to, you just drive it over. I personally don't like to drive it over, especially driving with my truck or the four wheeler. Every all the cotton leaves, the cotton burrs, or the, the little flowers, all that stuff just gets trapped all full into the four wheeler. Like it's packed full. I, I don't like it. I I hate it. Even in the truck. Like if you drive the, with the truck across the field, it just gets covered and I hate it. So I, I always try to leave at least one row out to every single well or to every single pivot. Well, I didn't do the didn't do to the pivot because we can drive on the peanuts to the pivot. So I just did on this side where the cotton rows are. And if you're wondering how I shut this one unit off, it's actually quite simple. When you look up in here, just this little gear right here. I just pop that back, and now it's gonna start planting again. So you just move the gears or move it out the way, and then it's not gonna plant because this sprocket right here will turn. And like this, now it's not gonna plant. Or now, or now it is gonna plant, but like this, it won't. Ah, well, great. Just when I thought that we could start planting cotton, now my tractor doesn't want to work. I'm walking back to my truck here. Look, luckily it only stopped here at the end so I can hop into my truck. But I was actually at that end of the field. He was waiting there for me so he could grease my chains on my planter. But basically uh, there's a sensor on the, for the hydraulic filters that keeps going out. I don't know why. We replaced it a couple of times already and it beeps at you like crazy telling you that the hydraulic oil flow is restricted so we just got to go buy a new sensor, put that on there, and then we should be good to go again. So it's kind of late now, but I'm hoping we can get after hours John Deere to quickly get us another sensor, and we should be able to continue planting. But I'm going to quickly hop into my truck here, and then I'll go pick up my dad who's at that end of the field. All right, we got the sensor. Now just to fix it, and hopefully that solves the problem. Yeah, sir! Yeah, buddy, now we're back up and rolling. That sensor did the trick. Now no more loud sensors or lo loud notifications blaring in my ear. I did not stop earlier, but yeah, now we're good. Planting again, fertilizer's working, going six miles an hour. 
beautiful clouds over there. I would love if that rain would come this way. That would be awesome. So yeah, this is awesome. Now I finally can get back to planting. I don't know, I still don't know if we'll be able to finish this field today, but man, I sure hope it'll be nice. Beautiful storms are brewing. Supper's here. Gotta put my red pepper flakes on there. But yeah, we're, we're eating and driving and planting. Love it. Oh, you wanna know what? I completely forgot to mention. We changed our minds on putting two different types of seed, one type of seed in that planter and one in this planter. Uh, we just, we changed our minds, so now we're just, we're both planting on the same field, trying to get it done today, so. I forgot to mention that earlier, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, out of seed for the first time today. Gonna have to fill up some more seed. Well, I only filled up four bags of seed. Uh, I think that's gonna be enough. I have myself here, let me turn on this light. Oh, there you go. I have this extra bag of seed with me right here, just in case if I can't make it to the end. But I think four bags should do it. Uh, I might have to use that one. Honestly, I might have to use that one, but yeah, we got a few more acres left. Uh, it's pretty close. I did fall back up behind a little bit, but I do have to finish this field because I have the fertilizer in front and I have to use that all in this field. And then tomorrow we're planting a different seed block on a different field. And then just more cotton planting after that. It's gonna be a lot. If you're curious about these cotton seeds compared to peanut seeds, one of these cotton bag seeds but one of these cotton bag cotton bags has 230,000 seeds. It's upside down, but if you can read that, 230,000 seeds. So when you do 52,000 seeds per acre, you can cover quite a few acres with one bag of seed. Man, it's getting late and I want to go home already, but I used that bag of seed right there. Uh, it wasn't enough. So now I gotta go back over here, pick up another bag of seed, cause I need one more round, and I think one bag of seed should do it. So I gotta get one bag of seed, fill up, fill it up evenly with all 16 boxes, and then plant it out. And I'm hoping I do not need more seed than that. I am going to put another bag of seed in the cab, just in case, because I don't want to have too much open bags of seed because we can't plant this anywhere else. Well, well we could, but it's kind of pointless. So I want to get to close as empty as possible. So I'm just going to quickly grab two bags here and see if I can finish it then. All right, come on, please make it. I don't have much far to go. The other planter stopped about a, another couple feet here. I do not want to fill up another bag. Yeah, he stopped right around here -ish. so I need a couple more feet he ran out of seed the other panda ran out of seed so ah perfect I made it didn't have to use that third bag that I carried with me so ah, that's exciting I love it okay lift the planter up right here I still have a little bit of fertilizer left over so I'm just going to leave that on and I'll just since we're broadcasting it, I can just lift up my planter and keep on going and it'll just spray it onto the ground. That part's fine. Perfect, love it. That's a late one already. Yeah, it's basically 12 o'clock, but. All right, time to go home. But, do appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.